Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello friends. In this session we are going to understand measurement of mass and time. Now mass can range to 10 raise to minus 30 kgs to 10 raise to 55 kg. The mass of, of the mass of electron mass of electron is in the order of 10 raised to minus 30 kg whereas the mass of the entire known universe the mass of known universe is order of 55 kg right so that means this is how the mass can vary from 10 raised to minus 30 kg to 10 raised to 55 kg which is nothing but what the mass of the known universe that's the reason why we have a different, a different method to calculate different masses usually a very small mass is used by the unit which is called as amu right so amu is used to measure very very small mass now amu is called as atomic mass unit so what is 1 amu 1 amu is 1 twelfth of the mass of carbon 12 atom so it is nothing but what 1 twelfth of the mass of carbon 12 c12 atom now what is c12 c12 is the isotope of a carbon atom right so small masses are used using amu now a very huge mass let's say for example mass of a planet can be used uh, using a gravitational force so with the help of newton's law of gra gravitation we can calculate the mass of huge planets right okay whereas the mass of commonly known object can be used using a spring balance and a common balance now this common balance is actually one of the way to compare masses right you might have gone to your uh, local vegetable vendor who puts 1 kg on one part of uh, one pan of the balance and who puts uh, vegetables on another pan of the balance so in that particular uh, common balance you usually measure the uh, you you usually compare the masses whereas in spring balance what you do is you uh, linger the mass along the spring and the spring displaces and on the basis of that you can calculate the mass right so in that particular case gravitational force m into g in case of spring balance gravitational force m into g is equal to k into x where k is the spring constant and x is nothing but what the displacement made by the spring right so if i want to calculate mass then then the equation comes to k x upon g i know what is k which is nothing but the spring constant x is nothing but the displacement which is made by the spring and g is nothing but the acceleration due to gravity on the basis of this i can calculate the mass right so uh, in this way i can calculate uh, mass in uh, uh, in terms of uh, 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 mass in case of very very small uh, a mass of electron right and I can also calculate huge mass like mass of planet on the basis of gravitational force of uh, gravitational laws of Newton 
in addition to that i can commonly i can uh, in day to day life i can calculate mass using a common balance and a spring balance right now let us understand uh, how to measure time now usually the si the si unit of time is second now initially when there were no watches right how people used to calculate time people used to calculate time by the on the basis of their shadows right the sun used to move from east to west and people used to measure their shadows and then calculate the time however then after to make the time a standardized uh, to uh, to consider time in a standardized way they uh, they considered that one second is this many vibrations one second is this many vibration of cesium atom so the amount of time taken by the cesium to make these many vibrations is called as one second so that is this is how a, a one second was standardized and this one second was then converted into minutes and minutes was converted into hours and so on right so i hope you have understood the session thanks a lot explore more about the topics you love with topper subscribe now and keep learning